welcome 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 to my channel and welcome to today's video today we're gonna be making a, a facial serum now this facial serum is amazing guys because I'm using ingredient that is loaded with antioxidant antioxidant that will slow the aging process down such as vitamin A vitamin C vitamin E so if you're looking for a facial serum that is gonna transform your skin when you on the regular this video is for you so continue watching now take a look at what I'm pouring here here I have some chia seeds this is an amazing seed not only for your skin but also for your body now chia seed contains omega-3 and it is also loaded with nutrients that are great for the skin. It helps to boost collagen production in the skin. It promotes clear skin and fight wrinkles and fine lines. Chia seed also helps to shrink large pores and even help with getting rid of acne scars. Chia seed is loaded with protein also and it will leave a tightening effect on the skin, a really great ingredient to use in your skincare, especially your natural homemade skincare. Now, now before we move on, let's prepare this chia seed since we will have to prepare it and set it aside to cool. You're gonna need a pot for this recipe. We are gonna be doing some boiling. So I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of the chia seeds and a good substitute for the chia seeds is flax seeds. Next, I'm gonna pour about a cup of water, give and take, a cup to a cup and a half, and then you're gonna place this on the stove top. Once on the stove top, we are going to bring this to a boil and take a look at this. This is what it's going to look like once it starts to boil. I suggest that you give it a little stir and then you remove it from the stove top and you're going to set this aside to cool. This is what it looks like after removing it from the stove top. You can see how thick and rich and gummy looking this is. And this is exactly how you want it to be. Now what we're going to do, place it aside for about an hour or so, and then we are going to strain. So once it is cooled, you're going to choose to get a cheesecloth or any old marina type of a cotton cloth like the one I'm showing here. And that's what you're going to use. So place it over a bowl and then you just pour the chia seeds in. If you notice mine is a little thick. If you find that yours get this thick, go ahead and add a little bit more water to it for easier squeezing. Very thick, it's going to take you forever to get it out of the cheesecloth. So definitely add a little bit more water to it if it's too thick, okay? And now you are going to squeeze the gum from the chia seeds that is all we are looking just the gummy part of the liquid and take a look as you can see it is coming out nicely and this is exactly how you want it to be now i speed up my video guys so don't expect to get this amount out like in a couple of seconds it's gonna take you about a minute or three to get this out okay all right, now once this is done, take a look. Here we have the gel, and this is about three to four tablespoons of the chia seeds gel. All right, now let's move on to the next ingredient, which is aloe vera gel. And take a look at this. This is 100% pure aloe vera gel, and this is the store bought aloe vera gel. If you have the fresh aloe vera gel, you can use it in this recipe. Just extract the gel and blend. Now, aloe vera is really wonderful to use on the skin since it contains so many benefits. Just apply it to your face regularly and it will help to diminish the fine lines and wrinkles associated with aging and loss of elasticity in the skin. Now, this is due to the simple fact that aloe vera contained both vitamin C and E, both of which are known to be vital for healthy skin and also helps to improve natural natural firmness and it will just leave your skin hydrated, soft, supple and radiant. 
Now let us move on to the next ingredient. And here in my hand I have rosehip oil. And take a look at this rich color coming from the rosehip oil. Now the rosehip oil is loaded with vitamin A and vitamin A will help to slow the aging process down. It will also help to get rid of the fine lines and wrinkles. It's amazing oil to lock the moisture in the skin and it is also an amazing oil to use in your anti-aging products. Now moving on to our next ingredient which is vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin can make your skin smooth and prevent other problems associated with dryness. Glycerin also locked in moisture in the skin. It helps to smooth out wrinkles and fine lines and it also helps to hydrate the skin. Our next ingredient is a vitamin E oil and vitamin E oil helps prevent the formation of wrinkles by blocking free radical damage. It treats wrinkles by boosting collagen production, a connective tissues that keep skin elastic. Vitamin E oil also treats wrinkles by supporting new cell growth and speeding up regeneration. And now let's put this together. I'm going to use about a four to five tablespoons of the chia seeds gel. And this is about enough. And next, we're moving on to the next ingredient, which is the aloe vera gel. And I'm using one tablespoon of the aloe vera gel. If you're using a fresh aloe vera gel, go ahead and use the same amount. I'm also going to use one tablespoon of the vegetable glycerin. Also note that the vegetable glycerin is going to help to preserve this. You can also choose to leave the vegetable glycerin out an optional ingredient and use a bit of a coconut oil or olive oil instead and for our vitamin E oil I'm going to use about a five to six drops give and take depending on your IU mine is 8000 IU if you have higher you use less if you have lower you use more and we're squeezing this in now guys you can also choose to use any of your favorite oil in this blend I'm going to use one teaspoon of the rosehip oil. You can use cacao oil. You can use organ oil. You can use quailine oil. You can even use some almond oil. Pour this in. Make sure to get everything out. And now we are going to blend this together. And take a look at this. Now. A nice way to get this completely blended together is to pour this back in the blender and blend. Once you do this, it's going to get more creamier and take a look at this. And this now look more of a serum like cream, which is perfect. So here we have our anti-aging, wrinkle fighting a facial serum. Now to store this, you can keep it in your refrigerator for about 7 to 10 days, give and take. And I like to pour it in a glass jar. Make sure it have a tight cover. And this is it. This is your anti-aging, wrinkle fighting, facial serum you can choose to use this am and pm however i like to use this more so pm because i can use it generously so just apply it to your face and you're gonna take a little not a lot and you're gonna rub it in your hands and you're gonna apply it to your face and you're just gonna pat it in your skin Remember, this is a water base, so it's not going to be greasy. You're just going to put it on. And remember, you're using this on clean skin, as with all serum. Once you're done, you're going to let this hair dry. Now, you do not need to use a moisturizer with this serum, since it's already have the rosehip and the vitamin E oil. Once your serum is air dry, you're good to go. Sleep with it rinse in the morning now you can use this serum every night if you so choose for best result also so there you have it 
Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. And if this was the first time watching, I'm sure you want to see more of these videos. So look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.